Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to make a review of this uh, KNF Concept uh, carbon fiber tripod with uh, an additional plate and uh, let's get into the unboxing. Uh, before opening this box I would like to mention that uh, this uh, video is not sponsored by the company. I purchased it on Amazon and it's going to be a fair review. I don't have to say good things or bad things about the product. So uh, let's open this up and uh, see what is inside. I'm pretty familiar with uh, these products because I have uh, several KNF tripods. I found this, uh, uh, I found that the products are of very good quality and uh, this is what we get. Uh, this is the first uh, thing that we see. Uh, it's a nice carrying case and this is how it looks. Uh, you have here some uh, uh, clips to attach the strap and uh, let's open this one and see what is inside. There is also velcro over here for the handles and a really nice strong zip uh, this is quite small this is the size of it comp compared to my medium size hand and uh, this is what it is what's inside first thing that we see is the tripod obviously um, we have uh, as i said the strap that you can attach um, to the carrying case and we have uh, the plate and uh, yeah that's it so this is the first impression. We have a user manual over here in different languages. Then we have an Allen key just in case you want to uh, loosen or tighten this up. And the uh, first impression is that the tripod look, it's a very, very light. I would say compared to what I had uh, to, to the rest of my uh, tripods, it's extremely light. But let's uh, get into more detail. So this other tripod uh, looks like this is the overall view. And now this I will measure the weight, as you can see it's uh, 1405 grams. This is how the plate looks like. This is the plate uh, from one side, just for you guys to see the uh, width of the plate. And this is how to operate the plate, you basically have to pull and rotate that side and the other side also. This is the weight of the plate, as we can see it's 57 grams, quite uh, light. These are the legs, uh, anti-slip type uh, made of rubber and uh, very easy to open the sections so this is the ball head uh, it's a 360 degree type uh, there are some markings at the bottom and you can go very specific uh, with those uh, also there is a nice branding at the front uh, here is the key to change the position of the uh, head basically as you can see it rotates uh, based on my experience, uh, the ball head is uh, very strong, holds very well the camera at any, uh, po in any position. Here on the top we have a bubble level. And uh, if we remove the plate, we can see some markings on the side and also you can go with those ones very specific. And the plate has uh, this uh, KNF uh, rubber on top that prevents the camera from slipping. This is how the uh, head looks with uh, the plate. And this is how we attach a smartphone uh, to the plate. I'm using iPhone 6s. You can adjust the height uh, from the middle of the tripod uh, in two sections. And here we see some clips and uh, op if you open these ones, you can change the position of the legs to go lower or uh, higher based on your preference. Uh, if we detach this part, which I suggest uh, to keep it locked properly all the time, you can see we can transform it into a monopod. Uh, the tripod has uh, four sections and uh, what I like about it is that you can uh, uh, open and close it very very uh, fast. At the bottom there is a hook, uh, so you can uh, add some weight to make the tripod more stable. Here is a very nice uh, finish uh, on the poles. All the sections are open, so when you keep the tripod like this, I suggest to put something at the bottom uh, to keep it more stable, attached to the hook. Here's another position of the tripod, uh, you can easily achieve this and uh, as we can see, you can use it as uh, to film the tabletop. And there is only one more thing that I would like to show you, this is how the monopod looks like, completely uh, assembled. So basically that's it guys, I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.